Georgia at Ole Miss plus two and a half. Ole Miss has one of the top offenses and defenses in the country. So why was last week versus Arkansas the first time versus a decent opponent that they actually put it all together when they dismantled Arkansas on the road? Now, is dropping 63 on a Razorbacks team that gave up a combined 69 against LSU, Texas A&M, and Tennessee proof that Ole Miss is now ready for Georgia? Or is the Ole Miss team that averaged 22 points over their previous four SEC contests the real Ole Miss? So will the real Ole Miss please stand up? And we're going to see this week. Because the Rebels take on the turnover happy, turnover machine in Carson Beck and the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, they've seen their quarterback who they are in love with, who they care about, and now they're starting to turn on, throw more interceptions in the last month than he had his entire career as the Bulldogs quarterback. Now, the dude has 11 interceptions in his last five games. And Georgia is a good team and they're still good enough to be four and one over that span but at some point in time georgia is going to run up against somebody who knows what to do with them extra possessions that they getting from those turnovers and carson beck you can bet he's going to be under pressure this saturday because old miss ranks first in the sec in sacks and tackles for loss and Georgia is 11th in the country over the last three games in drop back passes. So that's going to be plenty of opportunities to get to the quarterback. Now, this would be a game that Georgia might want to rely on its running game. But Trevor Etienne, he got banged up against Florida. And Ole Miss hasn't allowed an opponent to gain over three and a half yards per carry all season. So that means three plus three plus three equals not a first down that's what that means so georgia's gonna have to pass the ball and when you take the names out of it and only focus on this year's results it seems like old miss should be the favorite but you cannot ignore georgia putting up 611 yards on less than 60 plays when this game was in athens last year this was an absolute boat race now the dogs don't have brock bowers or kendall milton or Lad McConkey, but they still have Kirby Smart, and that might just be enough. However, though, I am taking the home team. Give me the old Miss Rebels, and this is going to be a game that sends shockwaves through the SEC because a Georgia loss, boy, oh boy. Imagine a world where LSU and Georgia lose this weekend, and they're both sitting potentially on the outside of the college football playoff looking in. Wow.